Paul says, I urge you, brethren. Now, what is he urging them to do? Paul says, I urge you, brethren. Now, what is he urging them to do? Paul says, I urge you, brethren. Now, what is he urging them to do? Paul says, I urge you, brethren. Now, what is he urging them to do? He says, I urge you to present your bodies a living and holy sacrifice. He says, I urge you to present your bodies a living and holy sacrifice. He says, I urge you to present your bodies a living and holy sacrifice. He says, I urge you to present your bodies a living and holy sacrifice. God is not just merely asking of you in a gentlemanly sort of fashion. God is not just merely asking of you in a gentlemanly sort of fashion. God is not just merely asking of you in a gentlemanly sort of fashion. God is not just merely asking of you in a gentlemanly sort of fashion. He's not just asking of you. He is commanding you that you give him yourself in its entirety. He's not just asking of you. He is commanding you that you give him yourself in its entirety. He's not just asking of you. He is commanding you that you give him yourself in its entirety. He's not just asking of you. He is commanding you that you give him yourself in its entirety. One of the purposes of cultivating godliness is cultivating godwardness. One of the purposes of cultivating godliness is cultivating godwardness. One of the purposes of cultivating godliness is cultivating godwardness. One of the purposes of cultivating godliness is cultivating godwardness. Our main occupation is to give more and more of ourselves away to him. That is one of the aspects of sanctification. Our main occupation is to give more and more of ourselves away to him. That is one of the aspects of sanctification. Our main occupation is to give more and more of ourselves away to him. That is one of the aspects of sanctification. Our main occupation is to give more and more of ourselves away to him. That is one of the aspects of sanctification. It's not just not doing certain things and doing other things, but the whole idea is a matter of the heart. I want him to have every chamber. It's not just not doing certain things and doing other things, but the whole idea is a matter of the heart. I want him to have every chamber. It's not just not doing certain things and doing other things, but the whole idea is a matter of the heart. I want him to have every chamber. It's not just not doing certain things and doing other things, but the whole idea is a matter of the heart. I want him to have every chamber. I want him to have freedom to abide in every place that he might be mine and I might be his, that my heart might totally belong to him. I want him to have freedom to abide in every place that he might be mine and I might be his, that my heart might totally belong to him. I want him to have freedom to abide in every place that he might be mine and I might be his, that my heart might totally belong to him. I want him to have freedom to abide in every place that he might be mine and I might be his, that my heart might totally belong to him. And if that is the case in the life of the preacher, everything else will fall in place. Everything else will fall in place. And if that is the case in the life of the preacher, everything else will fall in place. Everything else will fall in place. And if that is the case in the life of the preacher, everything else will fall in place. Everything else will fall in place. And if that is the case in the life of the preacher, everything else will fall in place. Everything else will fall in place. Now notice here, very important for our culture, for our day. He says to offer yourselves to present yourselves. Now, notice here, very important for our culture, for our day. He says to offer 
yourselves to present yourselves. Now notice here, very important for our culture, for our day. He says to offer yourselves to present yourselves. Now notice here, very important for our culture, for our day. He says to offer yourselves to present yourselves. This is a prophetic call. This is that prophetic word of how long will you limp between two opinions? This is a prophetic call. This is that prophetic word of how long will you limp between two opinions? This is a prophetic call. This is that prophetic word of how long will you limp between two opinions? This is a prophetic call. This is that prophetic word of how long will you limp between two opinions? If Baal is God, then serve him. If God is God, serve him. If Baal is God, then serve him. If God is God, serve him. If Baal is God, then serve him. If God is God, serve him. If Baal is God, then serve him. If God is God, serve him. him. 